Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's session is uh, like uh, how we can distribute the computing in Revit. Uh, so these DB's locations are indications only. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. So this is the, our main uh, SMDB panel. So from that, uh, we can uh, use uh, how to run the conduits to this uh, um, uh, SMDBs. That is what I'm trying to plan, uh, trying to do it over here. So uh, just go to the system and first of all, you can select the conduit from here. And uh, I, I had made one uh, service type for the conduits, uh, CON. And then uh, you can choose the conduit size from here, whichever size you required, you can uh, use it from here. So I'm using like 50 mm. And uh, from this DB to uh, one conduit need to be come up over here. So just, I just want to draw one conduit with this, this elevation. So I'm just uh, starting from here, one conduit I'm drawing up over here, like this way, and uh, making like uh, this way, and selecting this one to uh, connecting to this panel like that. Simply I can draw it like this. So if you if you look at in the 3D view, so I'm just giving fine from here, and just uh, give a hidden, and uh, yeah, you can just uh, uncheck this uh, with thickness of this one. And you can see in the 3D view how it's look. Um, so I, before that, I'm just go to VV and go here and conduits from here. I pattern. I'm just uh, um, just selecting uh, no on, non over height and just uh, selecting this one. Click OK. So you can clearly see the hidden lines. So it was clearly showing over here. And after that, you can check the um, 3D views also how it's uh, running. So this is uh, running like this, right? So this is the, here it is the different uh, ceiling height. So this is below the ceiling. So you can go to the 3D view itself and you can adjust that one. So I need this conduit above ceiling. So just uh, make sure this one uh, running above the ceiling. And then you can make the sections over here. Like you can zoom it over here. I can see here there's a conduit and then make a section, simply make one section so over here, like this, you can make a section. And then uh, once you create that one, you can stretch the section up to here and go to view. Then you can see the section view over here, so just to select like this. So this is our the ceiling and you can just define from here and you can change the scales from here, like from D, something like that. And you can, if you want to make it a shaded view, so you can make it as a shaded view. And you can select the conduit from here, draw conduit down to the panel. So it will be connecting to the panel hole itself. So if you go to the 3D view, you can see the conduit was uh, uh, dropping to the um, DB panel. Same thing, we need to uh, do it over in the SMDB side also. So I'm just moving that section and then rotate the sections 90 degree angle 90 degree then you can uh, drop the conduit over here like go to view and then you can uh, drop the conduits from here draw conduit and just to simply draw the conduit like this so that will also you can see it in the 3d view it was dropping uh, conduit to the uh, panels right like like this there's some db panel <laughs> sorry and then uh, each each db panel you need to uh, run the same method so you can just uh, create similar and then uh, running from here, the conduit running from here and going on this way and uh, going through uh, like this. And uh, we can drop one more conduits over here for this panel or how many how many conduits you required, you can just make it that one. And I'm stretching up to here, only you need to see the, that conduit. Go to this one, draw the conduit, draw conduit down to the SMDB. So it will be looking like this, so you can see the two conduit was uh, uh, dropping in the panel like that and just running um, smoothly over here like this you can see then and then in the 3d view itself you can adjust it the gap and other things so just go to here and you can just adjust the gap like you can uh, adjust through your uh, uh, through the key keyboard arrows up and down arrows so you can uh, see clearly the conduit was running clearly like that See, it was going like this and uh, dropping to the our our db panels okay so then i need to run the another conduits from here so go to here and uh, just uh, you can make the conduit like this uh, dropping up to here and it is connecting to 
the DBs, the SMDBs from the SMDBs and connecting to the SMDB panel. And then you can fetch this one up to here, go to view, then drop the conduit from here, draw conduit, dropping to the panel. Simply you can arrange the um, uh, this uh, sections like that. And you can see the conducting uh, going over there. You can use the parallel conduit also, but uh, in this cases I am using um, this uh, different different conduits. So that's the, you can move from here, like you can adjust it, uh, the distance uh, from one conduit to another conduit, like maintain 50 mm or something like that, you can adjust it. And this is the way, like uh, the conducting uh, uh, going. Another way, and this one, you can select the create similar, I need to one um, conduit, I need to drop it from uh, com, uh, running from here for this DB and I just need to do the root of the exact root of the conduit. So I'm just rooting like this. So you can just make it up to here and it will be going to the this SMDB. So the same process, the process you can do it, go to view and make a section, draw conduit to the panel and just adjust this one up to here and you can see how it's running just uh, see it in the 3d view so it is uh, perfectly uh, dropping to the panel and here you can see the it is above ceiling it is going to above ceiling and connecting to the uh, dbs okay so that that we need to do it over here so same process you can just uh, select this one create similar and you can just uh, make a, a section view of over here on this db we need to run uh, dropping down this uh, uh, DB so with the conduit to the DB so I'll go to view and then you can just uh, select this one go to find and change the um, scale of this one and you can see the uh, conduit section properly you need to make the section otherwise it will come to the uh, catch other areas also so go to here and just uh, drop the conduit draw conduit from here and dropping to the parallel sorry I'm just uh, just to drop to here and dropping so it will not we don't have much more space to uh, bend that one see that is the, that is what it is showing uh, this one like this so you need to adjust that one so just uh, need to be moved like that and if you can go to the 3d view so it is looking like this so this is the method um, they oh, how they are running conduit uh, to the db to smdbs so you can see how it's running and connecting to the SMDB's panel. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. It is totally related to Rivet uh, uh, and AutoCAD. So please subscribe and support me to grow. Thanks for watching. Thank you.